Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Weekend Extra. I'm Joe, and this is Ryan. We just had a phenomenal message this weekend, Ryan. You did a really good job just addressing dads. Um, I thought your bow illustration was fantastic. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, he has a violin on stage and talks about the bow that goes with it. And so you want to watch the message later, check that out. I'm just kidding. It's that would be narrow, impressive. But yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, but it was, it was very, very good and very applicable. And I'm already like reeling with stuff to do with my kid. And it's very, very cool. Me too. Yep. So um, what I was thinking, as an adult, I think all of us would agree, we all know dads. Sure. Ours, people we just know, maybe work, whatever. How can we use some of the principles that you talked about to encourage the other dads in our life? Hmm. That's a great question. Because, I, yeah, I think the, the role of, you know, if you sat in the conversation or you're catching up online maybe, this conversation about being a dad, it, it's a big role. Mm-hmm. You're carrying a lot of weight and not – I think the, the challenging thing about being a dad is you carry weight for a long time. Yeah. You're talking about something you're directly parenting for 18, 20, 25 years, depending on how that rolls. But then you're a dad forever. Yeah. Right? Like, it's it's a long-term thing. I still call my dad first time. Exactly, right? <laughs> we still need our dads. We're grown-ups, and that's how it works. And so I think um, encouraging our fathers or our husbands, or if you're dating a father, or however it works, right, that, that encouragement is necessary, you know, because a leadership is lonely. And at the end of the day, uh, fatherhood is a leadership role in the lives of our kids. And, um, and even if they're not in our home anymore, they're still drawing, right, they're drawing our example, and we're setting a pace for them, even though we don't feel like they are. I think that's one of the things that I see in a, in a big way, is as kids grow up, and, and parents are still parenting, uh, the example that those those adults set as they age is a huge deal, right? It's a huge deal. So anyway, how do we actually encourage dads in the midst of it? I think one of the things is just with our words. I mean, it's so simple, but I know I've even just thinking about the answer to your question, I don't encourage uh, even like my father-in-law or my stepdad as mm. much as, as I wish I could yeah. or as I should. Um, even hearing you ask that question, I think, boy, I need to do more of that. Um, so I think just with our words, telling them, uh, you mean something to me, mm-hmm. right? Your efforts matter. Thank you for following Jesus, if they follow Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for your faith. You know, th- those kinds of words, thank you for investing in me, uh, whatever that means, right? With time yeah. or energy or even finances sometimes. And uh, I think that encourages dads. Can I'm, I'm that way. When my kids say something positive to me, I like live off that. Mm-hmm. For a while, I mean, it means a ton to me when my kids say something verbally yeah. that builds me up. I think the same thing is true. Um, I know I, I lean on Lori a lot, and uh, she's an encouragement to me in, as a as a husband and as a father. You know, and I think if you're a wife or maybe you're dating a father, and however that works, your your uh, words, your support, and your trust of of someone as mm-hmm. they're right as they're following and trying to be a dad, invest that way, makes a big big difference. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, one of the things that's challenging in, um, in leading our children, I think, at the end of the day, is I have to do it on my own, like, at the, right? I'm alone in it, and I'm not alone in it, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're married, you do it as a team. But at the end of the day, you're kind of you're the head of the home. And so if you're married to a dad, um, giving that encouragement and support and celebrating dad, men thrive off of respect Mm -hmm. and so um words of affirmation or showing acts of kindness that are respectful i think goes so far i know i'm always more responsive uh, to kind of to Lori celebrating me than anything else yep you know i think that matters a ton leadership i think we sometimes look at well they're a leader they just have to pull their act together and lead yeah but like the best leaders have incredible support That's right. right. And that's the only reason they're able to keep leading well. You know, you think of Moses, he had Aaron, he had Miriam, he had, you know, his his leaders, you know, and that was encouraging to him. And you look at David, he had Jonathan for the longest time. And and even Jesus, like he's going to the Garden of Gethsemane, he's like, disciples, come with me, pray with me. Like, you know, and like these are strong, godly leaders. That's right. And they still have this great undergirding of support. So I think it's so important. And I'm sitting here a little convicted myself that I need to do that better too. Now, that's pigeonholing all of this appropriately so in fatherhood Mm -hmm. but ryan your principles tonight were fantastic like what are some ways that we can use that you know draw them close aim them high let them go ideas 
in other arenas in life mm-hmm. outside of fatherhood? Yeah, it's a great it's a great question. So there's all kinds of arenas that we might uh, practice these principles, right? If we're training someone new, uh, maybe at work, or we're discipling someone, teaching them how to follow Jesus fully, yeah. like getting them grounded in their faith. Uh, we're going to build that relationship in the same way, right? Same same vision for their life, having personal vision for people, I think is a big, big deal, right? I, I want to invest in them for their benefit. Uh, one of the things that's an amazing definition of love is um, loving someone f- totally for the benefit of the person being loved. And that's, I think that's a lot of what we're talking about, is I'm, I'm loving someone, and so I want what's best for them. I want to see them go as far as they can go, even if that means that maybe they don't need me as much anymore, right? They go farther than me in life. It all hits kind of, you know, emotional and spiritual issues in me and pride and all that, insecurity. But, it, but if I have vision for them, if I'm working with them at work or in faith or wherever that is, investing in kids, coaching coaching is a massive mm-hmm. one where we can make deep investments into the lives of whoever it is we're coaching and i think all those principles can really show up you know in big big ways and make a big big difference i'm as you're even talking about that i'm like evaluating different hats that i wear and like where am i not drawing them close and i don't have mm-hmm. the right of relationship to even think about the other two mm-hmm. Where am I, you know, not aiming high where, you know, they're my friends or whatever, but I'm not helping them move upward. And then, you know, where am I not letting go? Are there people that I'm like, I want you close. I want you here forever. I need you. And you're not allowed to develop and then multiply on your own. And, um, right. I guess all this to say, it was just such good stuff. I feel like God just gave you something for this weekend that I think we can all use in a lot of ways. So encouraging. Anyway, there's your weekend extra for the week. Um, If you're watching this in real time, happy Father's Day. And if you're not, well, we've shot this during Father's Day. Uh, We'll catch you next time for our weekend extra.